All right, hey guys, welcome back to another layout update. I know it's been uh, months since the last one. I think the last one was in January, and it is now um, June or July. Excuse me, it's July first now. So yeah, it's been quite a few months since the last update. Um, so obviously, with all that time, there has been a lot of new stuff added to the collection. So we will go ahead and get right into it with some um, new locomotives. All right, so the first locomotive uh, is this Inner Mountain ES or ET44 AC, uh, Norfolk Southern. Uh, it is DCC and has lock sound. I uh, got this one back in March. It was actually, I got this on my birthday, uh, which was March the 24th. So I've had this for a few months now. Um, and so it, I love it. It runs great. Um, I, I really do prefer Inner Mountain over the scale trains. Um, models of the tier four. I'm not gonna get into detail why. It's just that's just my opinion. Um, and I got this one at Hayes Hobby House down in Fayetteville, North Carolina. All right. So the next locomotive is this um, Cato SD70 Mac uh, in the Alaska Railroad scheme, and it's the spirit of Fairbanks. Um, I got this one at Hayes Hobby House as well, the same time I bought the tier four, NS tier four. So again, I've had this for a few months now. Uh, it is DCC equipped, uh, runs great. Um, I, I am slowly adding all the detail parts to it. Um, I've always wanted an Alaska locomotive, number one, because I think their paint scheme was cool. And also I, my family uh, vacation in Alaska for two weeks and uh, I've got pictures of obviously the real Alaska locomotives. So it's finally cool to finally have one in the collection. Uh, like I said, I am adding all the detail parts to it. I've got all the handrails except for the rear ones on. Um, it di doesn't have the dome, the GPS dome or the snow plows. I've got to order those um, hopefully online or um, see if I can get them from Cato. But anyways, it runs great and I really like it. All right, now for not necessarily a new locomotive, but it is new to me. Uh, this is a, another Cato. Uh, it's an SD40, uh, and obviously it is in the Chessie system paint scheme. Um, now, now um, for those of you that don't know, um, I do model typically the modern um, present day stuff. So Chessie system may seem a little outdated, which it really is, but you know, it was 25 bucks at a recent train show I went to. I went to the Carolina Coastal uh, train show in New Bern and picked this up for 25 bucks. And it's got DCC and it has sound in it, but it's Digitrack sound, so not the best sound system out there. Um, it is missing the, some. Uh, it is missing pretty much most of the fans up top, but again, just like the SD70 Mac, I can probably order those from Canon Company or go through Cato to try and find them, but it does run nice like a Cato should, and I'll get the sound system switched out to lock sound, or maybe I'll just make it just a DCC equipped locomotive. All right, now for another new locomotive, uh, brand new I should say. Uh, this is a another ET44AH um, in the CSX boxcar logo scheme. Uh, now this is the scale trains version. Um, I know earlier I said that I prefer the Intermountain over the scale trains. Well, I, I still like the Intermountain or the scale trains version. Now, I wanted to get one just to see the difference between the um, scale trains and Intermountain models. And yeah, there are differences, but I'm not gonna get in that now. Um, I do like the scale trains, but obviously I prefer Intermountain a little bit better. But uh, this is DCC and it has lock sound equipped, which is another plus point. Uh, lock sound is my preferred um, sound system and so it was really cool to have lock sound in the in this model um, but it does run great and it does sound great so i really do like it all right now for another uh new used locomotive uh, got this one again at the carolina coastal um, train show in new Bern. Uh, it is a cato sd40-2 high hood um, it is DCC equipped, and I think I paid like 40 bucks for this one. 
Um, it does run really nice. Um, no sound in it. Uh, none of the lights work, which doesn't doesn't um, bother me at all. I can put LEDs in it. Um, and actually, when I bought it at the time, I didn't know, um, but the fuel tank it didn't have a fuel tank in it, so or on it. Um, but thankfully, I gotta give a shout out to my buddy uh, Logan. You also know him as SCL3618 on YouTube. Um, I was coming back one day from. Hayes Hobby House, and he was actually at the show. I met up with him at the show, and uh, actually, he actually saw it. Um, I actually bought this with him. Um, but uh, I messaged him about it, saying that, like, when I found out, uh, when I actually saw it, didn't have a fuel tank on he says he said he had one, and we met up one day when I was coming home from um, Fayetteville from Hayes Hobby House, and he was kind enough to give me a spare fuel tank that he has, and obviously it wasn't painted. It's not painted, but I can put a coat of um, black on that very easily, just having it, and it fits it perfectly. So I gotta give a shout out, shout out to him um, for giving me this uh, fuel tank. And again, it, like I said, it's a Kato, so it runs perfectly, uh, runs smooth, and it is DCC equipped. All right, so now we'll look at some vehicles to end the video. Uh, the first two are these um, recent re-release of the Riverpoint Station Ford uh, 2008 Expedition. Um, and I got these in the white um, police version. And I actually detailed them for my t uh, city's police department. So I've always wanted to do this. always ha wanted to have my local police department, um, or model versions at least. So it's pretty cool. I sent pictures off to my custom decal maker and he supplied me with a sheet of Greenville Police decals and I gotta say they turned out pretty pretty cool um, they're both decaled up for police so they look pretty cool and I, and I want to add a few more what I want to do next with these two is actually send them off to get a flasher kit installed in them um, for those of you that may know highways and byways um, that company also does flasher kits for River Point, or for any vehicles, but mainly River Point Station vehicles. And I really want to send these off to get um, LED lights, LED flasher kits involved. So I think it'll look, look pretty cool. All right, so for the last few items I want to show off uh, are these really, really long awaited re release of the River Point Station. Uh, 2008 F350s and F450 uh, crew cab trucks. Um, these trucks have been, I can't remember uh, how long they've been pushed back, but they are finally uh, released and they have a few new options, but I, I really wanted some of the white, obviously. And I also got some red versions for a construction company that I am going to be building soon. But these have been long awaited and I pretty much bought as many as I could just in case something goes wrong again and um, production stops on these for a while. But so I've got right now I have I've got a couple already out of the packaging, but still in the packaging I've got um, two of these white um, single rear wheel uh, trucks. Uh, I've got one dually truck still in the in the box. And then two of these red single rear wheel trucks. So these are, like I said, have been long awaited um, to be re-released. And actually, uh, with this release, they actually um, did a new detail kit. Um, so for those of you that don't, that don't know, um, along with the trucks and SUVs that they've put out, they've also put out little detail packets. Um, they've had ladder racks, toolboxes, um, uh, fire type details and they recently put out a new service pack to go with the new service um, bodies that they've released and this is the pack there are two new two new uh, toolbox that, that they call service lockers um, there's two big work lights two vices uh, two water little water um, coolers drink coolers, and then two service bumpers.
or actually one service bumper, I should say. But it's a really cool pack, and I got actually seven of these, so I stocked up on these as much as I could. Um, so that's about it for the update, guys. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and keep coming back for more videos. And also, I will put in a um, link to Hayes Hobby House, and also follow me on Instagram for um, pictures and videos of just stuff I'm doing around the layout. So see you next time.